Hey, tech busted. Welcome back. Computers have come a long way from the beginning and they don't show any sign of slowing down. That being said, let's take a look at what the future holds for computers. Starting off with the CPU, Intel has already planned to ship its next generation Xeon 5 core processors, Knight's Landing, which has 72 cores, in the first half of 2016. It is a core processor, meaning it is intended to be used with your existing Xeon processors. The Knight's Landing chip can deliver more than 3 teraflops of peak performance, which is roughly in the range of some high-performance GPUs used in the world's fastest computers today. It is fast, powerful, and more power efficient. So it's pretty reasonable to say that you can expect at least 16 core CPU on your machine, if not 32. Let's move on to memory. HP has been developing new memory devices using memory store which would revolutionize computing. Memory register stands for memory resistor. Most notably, it can remember a range of electrical states rather than just two states on and off that today's most memory devices do. That means computer would be able to store more than just 0 and 1 in every bit. This results in far more greater capacities in small sizes and it would be cheaper than SSDs. Soon, Gone will be the days of those wires around your computer. Intel is trying to develop wireless monitors which will eliminate the requirement of those expensive HDMI or DisplayPort cables. Intel is pushing this idea through a smart dock, through which laptops can wirelessly connect to monitors and external peripherals. Wireless displays will work on Wi-Gig network, which is a faster version of Wi-Fi that can handle 4K video streams without any lag. Wireless displays will have Wi-Gig module built inside them. Wi-Gig operates on unlicensed 60 GHz frequency and is good for only short range data transfer. Needless to say, Wi-Gig is the future. Speaking of displays, 4K displays would soon be the new standard for monitors. With a lot of streamable content developed in 4K now, 1080p displays would soon be a thing of past. No computer is complete without a good internet connection. In 2012, Google started with a service called Google Fiber, which offers internet connection with speeds up to 1000 megabit per second. Yeah, you heard it right, 1000 Mbps up and 1000 Mbps down. Google Fiber uses optic fiber for transmission rather than traditional copper wires and is also resistant to electromagnetic interference. Starting next year, 2D cameras and PCs will be replaced by Intel's real-time 3D cameras, which will be able to recognize objects and even measure distances between them. Computers will become more perceptual with a combination of gestures, voice and visual recognition technologies being installed in PCs. Computers are already being shipped with fingerprint scanner to authenticate the user, and in future every computer is expected to have one. Check out Intel's TrueKey app for your computer and smartphone that lets you sign into any account without passwords. The app authenticates the user using visual recognition. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, feel free to subscribe for your weekly technology update. And thanks for watching. See you next week. I'm going to leave you with an animation of Google Fiber. Enjoy!